Hey there, I want to talk about Madeline... No, I want to talk about YouTube and their new terms of service and a number of other things about YouTube some more. Now previously, when I talked about this, I did not want to shove forth any sort of assumptions about what they meant in their terms of service. But at this point, I'm going to say what my assumptions are about what they mean by it. I think they want something that's more like Vimeo's terms of service, except, of course, they don't allow nudity like Vimeo does. They don't allow borderline porn or soft porn or light porn. They, they don't allow that sort of thing like Vimeo does. And they're also very extreme on copyright stuff as well, where Vimeo is not nearly as extreme. But when it comes to what people are considering hate speech, yeah, I think they're going the same place as Vimeo. You can talk about just about any subject you want, as long as you do it in a reasonable way. As long as you're not degrading an entire group of people, as long as you're not throwing out insults towards an entire group of people. So you can talk about Islam as long as you don't shove forth that all Muslims are shit. You can talk about gay people as long as you don't shove forth that all gay people are shit. You can talk about black people as long as you don't say that all black people are shit. You can talk about women as long as you don't say that all women are shit. You can talk about just about any subject you want as long as you're reasonable in the way that you talk about them. Let me give some examples here, okay? In my last video, hashtag shootback, there was a woman who was saying some stupid things. Now, my response to her was, what, we should just hold hands with the terrorists and sing Kumbaya? Made a number of other little arguments, okay? Those statements are not going to be considered hate. What would be considered hate is if I said, this stupid bitch who doesn't know shit about anything who, and then give out, just find all these new ways of insulting the person, right? Just, just, and I'm not good at insults, so I don't try to make them. I'm not good at it. And if I was to put a bunch of effort into being good at it, well, that would be what my mind would focus on a lot. I don't want to focus on how to be good at insulting someone. I want to be bad at making insults, so when I make some sort of insult, it's blatant that it's an insult, and I can move on with an actual discussion. So, this means the end of a lot of channels. Channels like Bearing and Undoomed, and a number of other channels that I am subscribed to are probably not going to have much of a platform here anymore. The video landscape of YouTube is going to change quite a bit. This means that the very things that a lot of people come onto YouTube for is coming to an end. This doesn't mean the end of YouTube, but it is the end of YouTube as we know it. And those that want to shove forth a lot of the hateful stuff out there, oh, how are you judging what is hateful? You are not an idiot. You know exactly what is hateful. And if you have become part of an ideology that doesn't even know what that means, then you have no right to complain ab about the SJWs who don't seem to realize the ramifications of some of the things that they say. If you've completely lost touch with how the way you say things has an effect on, on other people, 
then it's rather hypocritical for you to complain about other groups who are doing that same thing. If that's the type of material you want to put out constantly, you want this big hate fest, and you want to gain views by making other people as angry as you and sharing the hate, you'll have to find another platform most likely. And right now there aren't any video sharing platforms that will cater to this. Vimeo's not going to cater to this. Daily Motion isn't going to cater to this. Amazon Video is not going to cater to this. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get some site like 4chan or 8chan to start their own video sharing service. That way you can have all this freedom without worry of being censored as you want. I still think it's funny that some people think that a company enforcing terms of service is a violation of our free speech. Okay? You are not guaranteed to be able to say whatever the fuck you want when you are on a private company's website. They call the rules there. Freedom of speech is referring to your ability to say whatever the fuck you want and not get arrested for it. You are not guaranteed that you can say whatever you want and not have it censored when you are on a company's server, when you are on a company's website. That company dictates the rules. You don't have any say in that. As far as I'm concerned, YouTube really threw a wrench in things when they got rid of the All Activity tab. That All Activity tab allowed you to see the things that those you are subscribed to are liking, favoriting, making comments on. You could be in touch with what people that you're subscribed to are interested in. Well, now it's just the Trending tab. And in order to get into that whole trending uh, category, your video has to meet some requirements that match Google's algorithms. And it's made people go to more and more extremes in the things that they say, both in video and in comments. YouTube has become a much more toxic place since they got rid of the All Activity tab. And now they're going to cut back on what they consider toxic activity. Which means that, for many of you, YouTube is dying. It's not going to die, but the purposes in which many of you go on to YouTube for is going to be dead. So if you want some service where you can act like the schoolyard bullies that so many of you are, um, yeah, try to get 4chan or 8chan to start a video sharing service. You're not going to be making money off of it like you do on this platform. It'll have to be just spreading hate for the sake of spreading hate. You won't be able to make money off of spreading hate anymore. How do you feel about that? Is it going to be worth it to you? Or is it only worth it to you to spread hate when you can make money from it? Hmm, interesting question, isn't it? And when I say this, I'm including everyone in this. The SJWs, the feminists, the race realists, the supremacists, the nationalists, the anti-SJWs, the anti-feminists, everyone. Everyone who likes to spread hate and make money from it. So if it really does seem to be what YouTube is doing, where they are shoving forth terms of service that are more like what you find on Vimeo, and we do start seeing channels being terminated and lots of people's videos being deleted, yeah, I will probably be putting about 40 of my 1,400 videos on private. That's about how many I think I have that someone could flag, because I have been somewhat mean in some of my videos. 
So we'll have to see what happens. But let me state again, a company enforcing terms of service is not a violation of your free speech. If you think it is, then you don't know what free speech means. Have a nice day.